Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement practice videos for you. We are continuing this series focusing on the spiral lines and we are doing spiraling and rotating movement and postures. So we're going to stand feet hip width apart and feel that we're balanced over the feet. So we're equally balanced between the balls and the heels. Pelvis is centered. Shoulders relax and just feel like you're balancing your head on top of the spine. Now we're going to activate and engage the spiral lines. They go uh, up the legs. That's easy to follow when we get to the torso. They crisscross in front of the belly. They wrap around the sides of the ribs and crisscross uh, in the back of the shoulder blades and they go up to the top of the neck. So first we're going to make little circles, full body circles, any direction, but just keep following that direction as your circles get bigger and bigger. And just feel that this spiral is going from your feet all the way up through the crown of the head towards the ceiling. And then we'll make the circles a little smaller and just find your center and then relax. And we'll do the other direction. So feel your feet on the floor. Feel the weight of your body in your legs and feet. So feeling grounded. And then make little full body circles going the other direction. And then the circles get bigger. And we're feeling the spiral going up to the head and through the head to the ceiling. So feeling these big spirals and then starting to get smaller and smaller. And once again, finding our center and just feeling balanced. Okay, we'll continue with some sun salutations. So you can go to the front of your mat. This can be done with feet hip width apart or together, your choice. And we're gonna do our roll down vinyasa. So center the pelvis. Feel a lift at the pubic bone, feel energy descending at the sacrum. And we inhale, nice tall spine. And on the exhale, feel a lift as we start to roll down. So we're rolling around the throat, rolling around the solar plexus, and then rolling around the pubic bone. And let's pause before the hands get to the floor. So we feel a lift from the pelvic floor, as well as a lift at the pubic bone. And just feel gravity bringing your head and neck and arms down towards the floor. But also feel the energy going down the back, down the sacrum, down the legs, to the feet. So we inhale here in this nice rounded back position. And then on the exhale, let's bend the knees, get the hands flat on the floor. And this is soft and relaxed. Let's inhale, extend the legs, forward bend, Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees and soften. So feel your back, your belly, your pelvic floor soft. Inhale, half forward bend, nice long spine. And let's step or walk back to downward facing dog. And we step the right foot forward between your hands into a nice lunge position and feel the weight of your body in your legs and feet and you're pressing your feet away from each other gently. This creates opposition and stability. Put your hands on your hips, let's come up to standing. And this is a little tricky, so it's gonna challenge your balance. Extend both legs, keep that left heel up and once again, center the pelvis so we feel a flow of energy up the front and energy flowing down the back. And we're gonna use our arms this time. So the arms are at the heart level, elbows bent, and we'll bend both knees. Inhale, we extend the arms out to the sides, going towards the floor, exhale. Extend the legs, bring the hands back to the heart. So we inhale, you can still press your feet away from each other for stability, exhale. And one more, inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna add the spiral 
So we spiral to the right. Inhale, do your best. Exhale. It helps to press your feet away from each other. Inhale, keep that back heel up off the floor. Exhale, let's just do one more. Nice and smooth. Inhale, do your best to go straight down and not forward and center. And let's uh, stay facing forward. Extend that back leg, reach the arms up into a nice big lunge. And then on the exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, step your feet back, heels up. And exhale, heels down, downward facing dog. And we'll do that on the other side. Bring the left leg forward in our nice lunge position. Again, feel the weight of the body in the legs and feet. Press the feet away from each other and hands on your hip. Come up slowly. Extend both legs. So now the right heel is up off the floor and we're squaring the pelvis and shoulders and centering. So lifting up the front, energy descends down the back. And let's use the arms at the heart level. Inhale, bend both knees, extend the arms, and exhale, center. If you're wobbling around, just feel the feet pressing away from each other. Keep the heel, that back heel, up off the floor. Inhaling as you go down, exhaling as you go up. Now we're adding the spiral to the left. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale again, try to just go straight up and down. Be careful not to let the upper body go forward. And that's the last one. And we'll end facing forward. Inhale, extend the arms. Extend that back leg, reach the arms up for a nice big lunge. And then exhale, hands come to the floor. Step back, inhale, heels up. And exhale, heels down. So from here, let's do a wave. Inhale. Starting at the tail, exhale, curl under. Coming into a nice, strong plank position, spreading your shoulders wide. Lower the knees. Let's go back. And come into downward dog. Look forward, walk, or step up to the hands. Half forward bend, inhale, nice long spine. Forward bend, Uttanasana, exhale, but let's bend the knees and soften. Relax. Inhale, extend the legs. And on the exhale, let's roll up one vertebra at a time, centering the pelvis first. Again, feeling energy flowing up the front of the body, energy flowing down the back of the body. Okay, let's do another one. So just checking that your feet are either hip width, hip, hip width apart or together. Check your pelvis. Inhale, nice tall spine. And feel a lift from the pelvic floor as you exhale and start to roll around the throat. Roll around the solar plexus. And then roll around the pubic bone. Lift at the pubic bone as you Come down to the floor, bend the knees, hands down, soften. Inhale, extend the legs, Uttanasana, so forward bend, we keep the head down. Exhale, bend the knees. So we stretch and then we release. Inhale, half forward bend, and step or walk back to downward dog. Step the right foot forward. And you can adjust your stance so that this is comfortable for you. This is like Parsvottanasana or a folded triangle. That back heel, you want to reach down towards the floor, but it's okay if it's not all the way on the floor. Inhale, flat back, long spine. And on the exhale, let's carefully melt over that right leg. You can feel the right sits bones lifting. And then inhale, flat back, strong arms and legs. And we'll take the right arm and reach up into a nice rotated triangle. If it, you can't put this hand down on the floor, you can be on your fingers or use a block. 
Inhaling in this nice twisted position. And then exhale, bring the hand down. Let's bend the front knee and then step back to downward dog, heels up, inhaling. And exhale, heels down. Let's do this to the other side. Step the left foot forward. Again, you can adjust the width of your stance so that this feels comfortable for you. Do your best to bring that back heel down towards the floor. Inhale, flat back, so a nice long spine. And then exhale, fold over the left leg. And just feel the quality of melting. And you can reach that left sits bone up towards the ceiling. Inhale, flat back, so nice strong legs, strong arms, long spine. And extend that left arm up into a rotated triangle position. So we lengthen the spine, ground the legs, and you press down on the floor to deepen the twist. Inhale here, and then exhale, release. You can bend that front knee. Bounce back, inhale, downward dog with the heels up, and then exhale, the heels down. And let's do our wave again, inhale. Exhale, roll the spine forward into a nice plank position. And from here, you can come into cobra. Just let the pelvis descend and relax the legs on the mat. Inhale here. Use your knees, exhale, come back, and we'll go into downward dog. Inhale in your downward dog. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, and step or walk up to the hands. Half forward bend, inhale. And hands to the floor, bend the knees, soften, exhale. Uttanasana, inhale, so forward bend. We keep the head down. And on the exhale, let's roll up. So feel the feet grounded. The sits bones are being drawn to the heels. And we're feeling a lift up the front of the body into our balanced standing posture. Okay, we're gonna do one more sequence. Inhale here, feel a lift from the pelvic floor. And exhale, start to roll down from the top, very smoothly this time. Try to come down one vertebra at a time, keeping your pelvis centered as long as possible until you get all the way to the floor. Soften, bending the knees. Inhale, Uttanasana. Extend the legs. Exhale, bend the knees. Soften again. Ardha Uttanasana, half forward bend. Nice long spine. And downward facing dog. Okay, I'm gonna mirror you now. So step your right foot forward between your hands and then walk your hands so that you're facing the side of the mat. Prasarita Padottanasana. So we want to extend the spine, extend the legs, extend the arms. You can be on your fingertips. You can use blocks if need be under your hands or if you can place the palms flat. Now we're going to center the left hand right at our midline, push down on the floor and then the right arm Spirals up, inhaling. Try to keep your pelvis squared. You're lifting your sits bones just a little bit. And spiral, pressing down on the floor to help. And on your next exhale, release. And we'll change hands. Again, keep that right hand centered. And then the left arm reaches up. And do your best to square the pelvis. Feel the rotation in the belly. Press down on the floor, the deep in the spiral. Shoulders down from your ears, exhale. If you want to challenge yourself, you can do this a little bit differently. Extend the arms out to the sides. Inhale, long spine. And we're gonna spiral to the right and grab your leg. You can grab by the knee or grab the ankle, your choice. And you're pulling to twist. Inhale, center. Nice long spine, shoulders down from your ears so you have a long neck. And spiral to the other side. Inhale back to center. And then you can grab your legs or grab your feet 
and come down towards the floor. Maybe your head can touch the floor. Prasarita Padottanasana. Inhale, let's look up and place the hands on the floor. You can also use your fingertips. And let's bend the knees. We want to gently hop the feet together, bending the knees. Just feel like you're floating into this toe balance position. <laughs> and you draw the legs together. Do your best to find your balance. Hands in prayer position. This is tricky, you can just keep your hands on the floor. Bring one hand up at a time. So feel this lift from the pelvic floor. Inhale, and on the exhale, let's place the hands on the floor. Round the back, relax over the legs, soften. And inhale, extend the legs, forward bend. So let's keep the head down. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, half forward bend. So I'm going to turn back. And let's step back into downward facing dog. Inhale. And let's do our wave. Exhale, rolling the tail under, drawing energy up the spine into a nice strong plank position. And once again, you can come into Cobra or a variation of Upward Dog where you keep your feet flexed, pressing your heels back, deep back bend. And then you can lower the knees, come onto all fours, and rest in child's pose. Take a few long deep breaths here. Relax the elbows onto the floor. Relax the shoulders. Relax the head and neck. Breathing into the sides of the ribs. Breathing into the back. And then draw the knees together, inhale. And on the exhale, roll up. Just let your hands slide on the floor. Rolling up one vertebra at a time. Sitting on the heels. And that completes this sequence.